got in here, all the tile had to be waterproof because once you got out to the pad, you're out in the environment again. And I don't know if these guys show you that little block down there of the little tile that's not waterproof. You can squirt a whole bottle of water in it, it just sucks it up like a big sponge. And what that do, it adds weight. And it also, at the same time, if it freezes in a cold space, it's going to expand and it's going to crack the tile next to it. So, the thermal protection, and we learned the hard way, was really important after we lost Columbia. And uh, we knew that for sure. I mean, a lot of emphasis was placed on a lot of stuff. If you think about it, it's so complex. It makes you wonder how they even launch, launch these things. But, it's, it's cool the fact that everything went so well, you know, and it let, allowed the crews to do their job. And that was our main game, the, the, the guys working on it, and we had a team and a half out here. And uh, guys know we had the world's best processing and launch team in, 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 in anywhere in the world. And uh, no one person could do anything. What were you doing some of those well, I started actually started as a technician, and then I became a lead. And you know, the uh, processing of the orbiter horizontally, the orbiter is divided in three sections. You got a crew module or forward section. You had a, a cargo bay or mid body section, and then you had an aft section, which is just back here. So we got three shops of technicians. And we also had health technicians for each shop. And uh, that's how we processed. So I started out as a technician, working back here, and then uh, learned everything about the app that, that you think you possibly can know, but you still don't know, because there was always challenges. And that's what made our job so interesting, is that you wasn't doing the same thing every day, that you could experience new opportunities every day. And then I became the lead back here, and then I became the manager back here. And then I moved up to the crew module. And uh, that got pretty exciting because I had to meet all the astronauts and then uh, a lot of the other nicer people like you guys. So, so uh, it, Thanks for the compliment. It's right. a cool <laughs> journey. Yeah. Yeah. Cool yeah. Cause you like, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, so when did, when did you first come out here and begin working out here? Uh, 19, uh, I started for the aerospace companies in 1988. Mm -hmm. But I actually worked for uh, construction companies out on the pad starting in 1976. So right. it depends. Uh, I, I worked as a, a pipe fitter and, and stuff, and we put some of the pads together. We put uh, SDS2, we put the uh, uh, sound suppression piping on a mobile launcher platform. So been around this. My dad worked down here in the 50s, in, in the early 60s. So uh, he worked actually on the construction of, of, of most of the launch pads, even some of the Gemini uh, stuff too. So yeah. now, we lived in Daytona, grew up in Daytona, and uh, you know it's a good career, man. And it, it, the opportunity that I had that so many other people don't get to do it's just like an honor. See somebody honoring you to be able to work on these things. Yeah. Yeah. To see them go away, it's sad. Anybody here yeah. disagrees or is not very upset yeah. about that, but we can't. Well, you got to think of yeah. one thing, okay? These were built for low orbit trajectory, all right? We built that station. Man, that that station is awesome. If you guys ever seen the pictures that came out with the astronauts took, those, those things are awesome. And it's, these things, these, they did their job. Dude, I hate they, I hate that they're going away. And you know, we had, like I said, the best team in the world out here. And a lot of these guys are scattered now because of downsides. But we're going to come back. We're going to go back to the moon, probably, and maybe even farther than that. And, and hopefully in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. And uh, think about all the electronic stuff improvements over the years that we've got. Think about all the pictures that were taken on the moon back when Apollo program. Think what we can do with these cameras. Now. Think what we're going to see. Think of the things that we can discover now. And what we need to do is get these young folks 
in the elementary schools and junior high schools, get them in those science, math, and projects and stuff, and get them in astrophysics and stuff like that. It's going to be wonderful. Because you know what? We're humans. We're always going to explore. We know that we're going to do that. And it's because that's what God put us on earth for. What's your name, sir? It's Buddy McKenzie. And what's your title? So I'm a manager for United Space Alliance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a shot of you?